Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Tap Titans 2 on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Tap Titans 2 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Tap Titans 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, because I added the link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We ended up there on our own website of Usitility, where we have a nice meticulous overview on the way to obtain Tap Titans 2 on computer. We search lower a tad and click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we reach the website of BlueStacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to run to get access to the game Tap Titans 2 on our PC. As you can see here we have several pros of running this emulator. So we are ready to proceed to download the Tap Titans 2 by clicking on this button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We have clicked yes. I minimized the internet browser to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is very simple to use. It consists of two possibilities, install and setup path. I will describe what setup path really does. We purely click on it. And then we note that we, they got here the path where in fact the emulator will be put in. If we have to vary this folder we need to click on this, browse, button. And now we choose another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we like. I will set it as it is. I simply click on back. And therefore I just click on install. Great. The install starts and it will move forward along with the download of those megabytes which are presented on that screen. The moment you save it on your machine, it could possibly be a little more or less MB. The data transfer rate will go at a higher speed or slower, based on your type of access to the web and according to the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Immediately they're going rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be launched automatically. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will advance to the right when it gets into the ending, the emulator can be started for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator has already been launched, here for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you can discover, it has created two app icons there on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks software icon will be the one we are considering. Anytime we need to start Tap Titans 2 on the PC, we twice mouse click on that software icon and therefore start the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next phase, which is a must, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we are going to click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is presented. Here we have to log on. Right now when we are right here, we must absolutely conduct this following step which is compulsory. Therefore we simply click on, sign in. Presently it shows, checking info. It can sometimes get blocked in, checking info, that's why it isn't going to progress. In that case, you can try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it will surely very likely be resolved. At this time we're going to type our email and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. For example you could use the exact same email you are using currently in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will type in my details and I'll go back when I have accomplished it. Voila! Info entered. Here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their tools. 
we will approve them simply by clicking on, I agree. Following that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it it's going to produce a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you can use that option if you wish. We click accept. The Google Play Store is launched by default and immediately. To set up the application, we must browse the emulator desktop by left-clicking this icon marked green colored. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator, we see that we come with there the install app game option. We mouse click on the button. On this page we have got the game. So let's press right here on the install link that I am showing now in green. This action will commence the installation. Now it would install the game app. It could take some time or perhaps it could possibly be extremely fast. It all is dependent upon on the web connection. It's by then completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing the following button that I am showing in green. If you want to start Tap Titans 2 for the first time. I am currently on the emulator desktop and we are preparing to click the brand new Tap Titans 2 app icon that's been generated. That game is launched for the very first time. Here we end up with it. I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume of the emulator. It's right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This one is actually the very first one. We click on this software icon which I am mentioning in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In the case that we desire to enjoy the app using all the screen, we click this game icon. So we would probably already be enjoying the game app in 100% screen setting. To leave the 100% screen mode, push the F11 key. So we would definitely already be in regular display setting. At this point, I am choosing to demonstrate you the keyboard mapping which is really surprisingly cool. That strategy we will certainly be in a position to utilize the video game more effortlessly. The very first thing is to press this software icon. It's now time to make the appropriate setups. I can put the default settings, but if you like to change this, you may well do it now without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is started in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese language. And as a consequence to place it in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here within other options, we click the language drop down. We can easily select the language we like, Italian, Chinese, etc. Once the language is determined, we could save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the Android game, next time we run it, would of course be in the opted for language. Right now, there is another detail that we need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email indicating that a brand new device has been connected with our own Google account. It should question us if we're the people who have associated with that device. Yup, we shouldn't be troubled, as the emulator is acting as an Android smartphone or tablet. So you can find which device is being emulated. We return right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Be sure to browse here to the model selection. And here we see that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks. So much for the video tutorial. I hope that you appreciated it, specifically that everyone found it handy. If that's the case, offer it a good thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, requests or ideas. Let them in the comment area below. You could even leave a comment on my Twitch channel. I conduct live streams occasionally, you get it below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Check out any of the videos that happens to be showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the future video tutorials. Bye.